How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. We lived in a Prius full-time for three years, but now we're in a 4x4 Sprinter, and we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts, and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. On last week's episode, BF Goodrich invites us to join them as a VIP for the Mint 400 race in Las Vegas. In case you didn't know, the Mint 400 is the oldest, toughest, and most prestigious off-road race in America. We start by hitting the Vegas Strip that they shut down just for us. Here, we get to see tons of trophy trucks and even get to ride down the Strip in our friend's off-road race limo. Then we head to the Mojave Desert to do some crazy off-roading on part of the race's racetrack. We leave off hitting up Fremont Street for a festival and ending the night with some fun country line dancing and bull rides. We started our day going to the Justin Bean Smith Garage. Welcome to GBS Motorsports. We take care of and build race cars basically here. So everything off-road racing wise we do here. Now these trucks are unbelievable. We learned that a trophy truck takes five to 6,000 hours to create. If you do the math, that's 250 days working 24 hours around the clock. Not to mention, these guys are expensive. An engine can cost $85,000, and get this, they need to be rebuilt and replaced every 1,200 to 1,400 miles. This truck is about 640 grand. Right now, if you were to build this same truck, you'd probably be close to 800 right now. They can also run a thousand horsepower without needing any additional components. These trophy trucks are wild. You guys, the things we learned are mind blowing. This was one of my favorite visits and really prepped me for this race. So I really understand what goes into trophy truck driving, which is a lot of money, but also a lot of skill and fun. You guys ready for the next spot? We are grabbing lunch at the iconic Pioneer Saloon. It was built in 1913 and this place is super cool. It has this bizarre cowboy feel to it, but I also heard the food is delicious. So let's go check it out. saying never walk behind a horse just in general when they're in action or not in action well uh, I decided to walk behind a Vanessa in action <laughs> We're at qualifying races. This is amazing. And the trophy trucks are about to come running through. televised event so I'm going to show you what it's like inside a live stream trailer that's why you'll see the helicopters cameras everywhere it is absolutely wild how they put these things together 
you're getting a behind the scenes look of what that looks like. Here we have a 100 mile course and we have uh, about seven different camera positions and then 17 other camera positions beyond that, including drone, uh, helicopter, etc. All that gets fed into this truck and then cut into the live stream that you guys are watching. How quickly is that turnover? Two seconds. That is incredible. Yeah. Thirty-seven cameras total to create this one live stream. That's insane. And the fact that they could turn that over in just seconds. I gotta say, especially working in media, that was one of the coolest things I've seen. The entrance to a secret world. Oh, it really is a secret world. We're behind the scenes of the Mint 400. You're gonna wanna see it all. I'm Nikki Delmasol, reporting live. See you soon. It is downpouring. We're gonna pick back up tomorrow for race day. Good morning, friends. We are back at the races, just having some breakfast in the VIP tent. The race is just about to start, so let's hit the grid. You guys, we have Charlene here. She is the 4x4 expert. She teaches women, <laughs> and she's also just on the BFG team. But all about off-roading. You are so empowering, I love you. Thank you. But she's gonna explain a little bit about this race for us because yes. she'll do a much better job than I can. Education <laughs> builds confidence. Thank we you. got this. When these racers are going, how long does it usually take them to finish the 400 miles? Okay, so the start line, we're gonna go off every 30 seconds at 10 o'clock. And they're gonna go off, go off, go off, uh, two at a time is usually how it rolls out. You may see a one at a time, and that's just because their partner in crime didn't show up on time. Uh, and so then they're out there and they're doing four laps of 100 miles each. So you're gonna see them come through the infield three different times. Uh, they're expecting the finishers to come through about 2.30 is what I'm hearing. And so our top finishers, those are the guys that are on task, go, 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 go. Uh, they will be here right around then and then they will come in all the way through till 10 o'clock at night. This one right here is our top qualifier. As you go through the grid walk, what I want you to notice, the two screens for the co-driver, the top and the center console, we have the radios. Uh, so they're running radios that this communicate is... between each other and then also back into their pit. But here's our midsection. You know, they have their safety equipment that's there right now. The guys are down here looking at the suspension technology that's going into all of these trophy trucks. This is the BFG race tire. It looks very much like the mud train tire. So if you were just to look at it, you're like, oh man, have one of those oh uh, yeah no you don't <laughs> uh, these are actually handmade you guys matt owns the mint 400. no the mint owns me the mint <laughs> owns you that's such the right word here right? we go so thank you so much for having us no worries great to have you out here i don't think you're going to see a bigger display of american horsepower in any other motorsport not nascar not formula one i mean we've got a couple hundred trucks that average about a thousand horsepower a piece so I'll let you do the math. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> What's the average price of one of these vehicles? 750. Yeah. 750? That's yeah. average. Like 750,000. I bet that's the Yep. I bet yeah. that's up to like the a million bucks. Bottom. You it's said? Over, over a million dollars. And to prep it, each race is about 150. Wow. Yeah. 150 just to prep the car for a race. Yep. All right, so here's another inside and you see this one now. We have two screens and it's very limited on your buttons, right? Where the other one had a bunch of buttons and a bunch of things, uh, but very limited. You also have your fire compression system. So everybody has a fire compression system. They can pull that. You're also seeing not only a suppression system, but you also have fire extinguishers. And these, this is your suspension. So this is your uh, bypass tubes, king shocks, 
you can see all the blue in there. This is Ryan Arciero, another one of our BFG performance team members. And uh, we were talking the other night at dinner about some of the items on your truck that mm -hmm. make it different from others. So give us a quick rundown of just some simple things that you would want to point out about your truck. What's coming out of my pocket right here is, uh, is my cool suit. So this, this plugs in and it circulates fluid through my chest and through my back to keep me cool. In my air system, I have an, uh, an AC and a blower so I can blow cold air through my, through my helmet, which is huge. And then fluid logic to me has been a game changer. Being able to have the right fluid in my, in my system, especially after six or seven hours, I need to keep myself hydrated and, and stay ahead of the game. All those little things make a big difference inside the, inside the race truck. And, uh, and hopefully all those little things will get us back here first. This is Rob McCacker and this is another one of our BFG performance team members. Um, tell us a little bit about your truck, like something that's super, super interesting to you about your truck that the yeah, folks well, at home might not realize. Gotcha. Well, it's big. It's, uh, you know, about 6,500 pounds, holds about 120 gallons of gas. Um, BP Racing Fuel has a, a V8 Ford uh, small block, about 850 horsepower, has 40 inch tall BF Goodrich tires, it has uh, Fox shocks that are about four feet tall has about three feet of rear wheel travel, about two and a half feet of front wheel travel. Um, it's capable of going speeds. Um, I just did shaking the truck down testing. Um, we were on asphalt, the truck did 142 miles an hour. Hey, you're Rob McCackman, we're at the Mint 400 and you're watching Robin's Car Talk. Okay, so this is Yolo and this is what I was talking about with all of the equipment, right? So she has her race suit on, Give us a spin, girl. Give us a spin. Woo! <laughs> Looking I good. I know. We got fancy pants. All the way down to the race shoes. Uh, so these socks. are in socks. And then your gloves, uh, very fire retardant, all the pieces to the pie. And again, it's all about fire suits and fire pieces to make sure that it's safety equipped. Yellow Freeman, yes. everybody. Yes. What a <laughs> badass. You are so cool. Thank all you. Right. Charlene, thank you for yes. showing us around. <laughs> you guys ready for some more fun race stuff? We're getting a helicopter soon. I've always wanted to wear one of these. Oh my gosh, it's my awesome. first time ever. <laughs> I, I feel that, so official. I always say the yellow brings out the blue in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a 12, baby. Give us a 12. You guys ready to do this? The race is officially starting and we get to take you up close and personal because we got these babies. Whoop. <laughs> Let's hit the track. In to all those vehicles. Holy moly. Adam brought his own radio so he could intercept and figure out what's going on. I want to hear what people are saying. All right, so I'm going to rely on Adam to let me know when this thing's starting. Yeah. He's figuring out right now what time they're officially going to start. The fact that we get to walk on this track as they're starting is mind-blowing. You guys, 400 miles starts now. What? This is the first truck with the fastest qualifying time. You guys ready for this? Oh my gosh. has officially started. Heck yeah. Now they're starting two at a time. Uh, you guys, Matt just asked if I wanted to wave the green flag. Heck yeah. Oh my god, this is so Roughly cool. Roughly like 2,000 horsepower here. I might need earplugs. <laughs> this is so cool, thanks! It's badass. So badass. That was wild! Oh. Sick. Thank oh, you, Matt! Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was 
so cool. Holy cow, you guys, that was absolutely nuts. You could feel the heat. It was an experience like I've never had before. Wow. All right, we're going to the helicopters. Uh, fun fact, you guys, this is my first time ever in a helicopter. And also a fun fact, uh, the helicopter pilot said it's his second time. He just got his license last week, so <laughs> first job. He's really excited about it. <laughs> Here's your right, guys, right there. Come here. I call shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm here with Travis. Travis is our pilot today. Travis, I'm a little nervous. It's my first time in a helicopter. Yeah, I'm yeah, too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Travis. Well, since it's our first time here, where's the best seat in the house to get all the action? I'd say sit behind me because I want to watch the race and I'm on the right side. So if you're on the right side, you're going to see everything I'm seeing. So. All right. I'm sitting right behind Travis. Keep us safe. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> if you start to feel like you don't feel good to your stomach, okay. let me know and I'll level out for a minute. We'll calm down. Um, okay. Don't look at your feet. Don't look down a lot. Don't spend a lot of time looking at your screen. Okay. That, it'll make you sick. Okay. okay. Uh, Travis told me he'll just hold his hand out if you have to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> you can see your face really off. Kind, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready? We're so Stop ready. This. Woo! High five! Let's get in there. Let's get in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Let's have. So shall we? Just. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ya estamos a bordo. Right. You ready, Travis? Yeah, everybody buckled in. Comunicación. Cool. Right, We're ready. Let's see if we can figure out how to start this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Thank you, Travis. Wow. That was wild. <laughs> I need a drink. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you. You're the best, Travis. Yes. Wow. That's what I've been trying to tell everybody. <laughs> you hear that? He's the best. Oh my god, I love you. Are officially concluding this race. First place driver is coming on through. This is wild. Right over here, we have the unofficial second place. Two, winner three, BFG, BFG, BFG. I see a trend here. I think so. I wonder what that means. <laughs>
That means first, second, and third place have one thing in common, the upgrade. All right, you guys, we have officially ended the Mint 400. This was an incredible adventure. It's time to head back to the van and camper. And next week, we get to reveal our brand new built out custom van. And I'm so excited to show it to you guys. <laughs> I missed you so much. <laughs> Are you excited? Are you as excited as I am? You ready to get back on the road? You ready to see your new home? Oh yeah, me too.